let's take a look at how the program works and what does what, right? Essentially, you know, how to navigate around around the screens, right? So when you first open it up, you're going to get a, a blank screen basically like this. And if you navigate towards the left side, you'll see that this tree view is basically mirroring what Trex reporting looks like, right? Starting with structural systems, foundation, and so forth, right? Where it deviates is, of course, you've got a cover page up here. And then at the very bottom, we got a section called stock photos. This is just an area where you've got basically, you know, photos that you might use in your report for clarification. And then you've got a section called archive. This is basically like your trash bin or where you're going to put photos that you you don't want to see within the program, but you 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 took it and you're going to just keep it, right? It doesn't the program does not allow you to delete things. It's just kind of a safety feature so that you know, you don't accidentally delete something, right? It does allow you to delete photos, but only at the very beginning. Like when you've just taken it, you can elect to delete it at that moment, right? But once you've saved it, um, you have to put it into the archive, just if you don't want to see it anymore. The no deficiency link section is going to be where all your photos that you've taken and have not been linked to a deficiency are going to go. So this area um, is basically like your inbox, right? You, you, all, everything is going to come into that location until you process it. Where it deviates also a little bit is here. Like for example, there's a section called smoke alarm under electrical system. And Trek doesn't have this, right? So the program allows you to customize that menu so that you can work more efficiently or at least it allows you to make sure that you've checked that if that's something you want to branch out and that way you make it a subcategory and when you're doing your inspection it'll allow you to uh, spot that you have hey I'm still missing this I haven't checked it let's go look at it and that'll make more sense once you see the color coding right and yeah so you can customize this this menu and once it prints it's not going to create a section called smoke alarm. It'll it'll roll it up into the branch section, which is where it belongs. That's what how Trek defines it, right? Um, so yeah, right now um, that's the way the left side works. On the right side, the first thing we have to do is we've got to open up a job or create a new one for everything else to start working. Right now, none of the buttons will do anything until we do that. So we're going to open up a sample inspection. Right, so it'll load, of course, all the photos. You can see on the left side, all the color coding has changed. Right, so the color coding is based on the level of completion of your inspection. Right, of course, you know, if it, green means go, <laughs> as my kid says, but green means hey, we've we've completed that section, meaning it has photos, and those photos have been linked to a deficiency. You've defined what problem exists within that photo right red of course means there's a problem you, you gotta stop you gotta go look at that and there's still something missing right um, so in this case you can see on the roof there's two photos that are red on the right just so it's red because those photos have not been processed they haven't been linked to a deficiency and then blue means everything's good like you took a photo you looked at that section, you put some evidence in there to show that you uh, checked that, but you found no deficiencies, right? And the blue means you've defined that photo with as not having a deficiency, right? So you got green, red, and blue. So the goal is either make everything green, or make, it, make everything blue, um, and take a look at your red sections, make sure you've completed everything in there. Okay?